Greetings from Bethel Memorial Baptist Church. I'm Pastor Brent, and we had another prayer meeting tonight. It was a great time. A lot of praises right up front that we just praise the Lord for God's faithfulness as he answers prayer. And then continuing along, recognizing there's still many uh, struggles and many people that are in need of uh, prayer support as we have that privilege to pray together. Um, the devotional I shared tonight was from Psalm 46. It was something I had read earlier in the week from a devotional, and then today's Daily Bread was on it. Uh, the same verse, but I want to expand and look at the whole chapter. But before I do that, let's bow on a word of prayer. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the, the, the psalmists, not just David, but others who penned psalms that they may not even have known everything that they were writing about, but under the direction of your spirit, they, they wrote about who you were and how you speak to our condition and how you bless us. I pray that as we look at this song briefly together, that you'll bless us to know you better. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The uh, blessing of this psalm really comes in the verse that was focused on in both the devotionals that I read. Psalm 4610, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. But before we get to that verse, I want to provide the context. So let me read the whole uh, psalm, Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad that city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the war, earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spears. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah, our fortress. The blessings of that, first of all, come out. We see three times the, the thought that God is a refuge and a fortress. In verse 1, in verse 7, and in verse 11. God is a refuge, he has strength, he is our fortress. That's a, a big part of the message of the psalm, and we praise the Lord for it. But in the midst of those three statements, we see a lot of turmoil. Though the earth gives way, the mountains be moved, the waters foam, the mountains tremble. And then beyond that, we see nations raging and the kingdoms tottering. And then we see God is going to step up and end war, but to end war, he's going to have to fight a war. He's going to make war cease, but he is going to have to break the bow and shatter the spear and burn the chariots with fire, bring desolations on the earth because of their warring ways. So when we think about this, God is a refuge and a fortress amidst the earthquakes, the mountains being moved, the floods, the waters roar and foam, and war, war between uh, the nations and then war on the nations as God judges them. God is a refuge and a fortress, an ever-present help in trouble. These are the troubles that are mentioned. Now, again, we get to the verse that says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The unique thing about that verse in the midst of all the 11 verses of Psalm 46, this is the only verse in the first person. The psalmist are explaining, describing God good, and then describing the evil of the earth and describing all of it. Many, It's repeated not only that God is a refuge, he's very present in trouble. In verse 7, the Lord of hosts is with us. In verse 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. So as a refuge and fortress, what we need to do is know the presence of God. And when we know his presence, then we can hear his voice say, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So we know that God is present. The question I'm asking, can you hear the Lord? 
and you hear him speaking to you in the midst of all the uproar in this world. There's one other verse that I read over and I haven't touched on. Verses four and five, actually. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. When I read that verse, I'm thinking, I've been to Jerusalem. There is no river. There's a little valley, the Kidron Valley, between the Mount of Olives and the, the Temple Mount. You, you can see that. You can look from one to the other side. And there's, a, there's a, a spring down there. There's some pools that gather water, but there's no river. There's no river. And as I read the one commentary, it suggested the river is really the presence of God. And I used to sing a song when we were in high school, I've got peace like a river. That, that sounds good. But then someone tonight at prayer meeting said, but remember, in the new heaven and new earth with the new Jerusalem, there will be a, a river flowing from Jerusalem out to the world. And to, to know that, that that work of God to protect Jerusalem and God's people and, and, and the church, all the things that it will be there to bring blessing to the whole earth. I, I just, I love this song. I've been focusing on it all day, but the main thing I want us to think about tonight is in the midst of all the noise um, and all the hurry and all the crowds, can we be still and know that he is God and we wait for the day when he will be exalted among the nations and exalted in the earth. And we pray that we will have our part in exalting his name right now. Let me close in prayer. Father, I thank you. I thank you for Psalm 46. I pray that you would help us to hear you. That you would help us to hear you over all the struggles of the world. I pray that you would help us to know that you are refuge in a fortress. I can't imagine what it, would be, what it was like for those that were trapped under the rubble of an earthquake. I can't imagine those that have been trapped in floods. I can't imagine those that are in a war zone. Uh, we, we've been so protected. But help us to know even if we were in those things, you are still present and you're still a refuge and a fortress. Help us to walk in our faith in Jesus Christ, knowing that we're children of God because of our belief in his salvation that he offers because of his blood. We thank you, Jesus, that you rose in power to show you have the power to conquer all things and most importantly, sin and death. It's in Jesus. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. God bless.